Right, uh, g'day everyone. What I have here is a Lego EV3 colour sorter, which doesn't quite look like the original. That is the Mindstorms kit uh, 45544, and that's one of the uh, the items that you can build, or one of the things that you can build from that kit. So basically, it's just got an assembly um, that normally uses the Lego camera to sort different colours uh, into different cups. You can see videos of that on, on YouTube. Um, so as you can see, if you're at all familiar with that model, then um, you have a look at what I have here. It's, uh, this is slightly different uh, in that I've got a little bit more framework, um, which is not very well constructed, but I didn't want to spend a lot of time on that. It's the rest of it that I wanted to spend some time on. Um, you can see a Raspberry Pi here and mounted on the front of the Raspberry Pi with a bit of Lego we have the Raspberry Pi camera. So instead of using the colour camera or colour detecting camera we're using the Raspberry Pi camera. But the rest of this uh, sorting machine is pretty much exactly the same. So and the other difference is is instead of using Lego tiles, coloured Lego tiles to sort, I've 3D printed my own little tiles. So they're ever so, so slightly smaller than Lego tiles, or two of those stuck together. However, they do the job for this machine. So I've got a few different designs there. Now as you can see, the tile itself is white and the prints are black and white. Likewise with my other designs. And the idea is that to sort these objects, all being the same, essentially the same colour and weight, there's no way of sorting them using the standard Lego equipment. So unless you've got some kind of add-on, such as this, the Raspberry Pi, and a little bit of brains behind it, there's no way of sorting those objects. So the way that I've taken this on is by way of TensorFlow. So what I've done is taken 10 each of these objects. I've had this machine move back and forth to random locations just so that it doesn't stop in exactly the same position each time. And it takes a photograph of the little tile down in that hole inside there. So, and it collects uh, 100 of each of those images. And what I did was I collected 50, then turned the light off so that the light was really dim, and took the other 50. So TensorFlow will have a bit of a variety of images there to look at. So as you can see now, TensorFlow is currently training. So it's learning all these images. And once that's complete, I'll transfer that onto the uh, Raspberry Pi so that Inception can use it. So yes, I'm, I'm retraining Inception. Um, the retraining itself is just using exactly what's provided with TensorFlow uh, in the image retraining folder um, under examples, which anyone can download and try. So there's no real secret source there. Um, there's obviously a little bit of coding to get the EV3 working using RPI3. Um, oh, RPI C, sorry. Um, all I did was also uh, created one custom component here. Uh, this component, you could see, sits in place where in the original design covered up the top of the tile so any camera there wouldn't actually be able to see the tile. So this sits in place where it can, uh, the camera can still see the tile but it, it obscures the tile above it so it's not going to get confused and recognise two tiles at the same time. So essentially, you know, if you want to see how all this works as far as training goes, um, we can feed in some tiles here. So as you can see there's the camera's perspective of the tile. I haven't got any automatic loading or anything like that. All of this is just going to be hand loaded because it's very early in development. So we've got a few of these tiles going in. We can fill up that chute. 
fade shirt. And so over here, you can see I've already got the connection running onto the EV3, and that's just the, the server running there. So it's ready to take remote commands. So I'm remotely connected via PuTTY straight into that EV3 over here uh, wirelessly. So I'm just using a, a normal USB Wi-Fi stick you can see on the side there. Which is why none of this is sitting properly off, off the side because the USB stick gets in the way. And once again I didn't want to be redesigning, I was in too much of a hurry to actually get it working. And likewise here, we've got a remote connection over to, to the Raspberry Pi. So just an example of running what the training would look like, not the actual sorting. All I need to do is execute my program. And then that will initiate the program here on the Raspberry Pi, which is going to send the commands to the EV3. We can see that self calibrating now. So on the monitor there is what the Raspberry Pi is seeing. We've got voice feedback. And this is where you can see it goes to a random location. Just so that it won't stop exactly the same each time. There's gonna be a slight little bit of shift that the camera's looking at here. That's where we want that slight little, little bit of movement for TensorFlow. So, next up, we'll give the machine a try after the training has completed. So, as you can see here, TensorFlow has completed its training and we have copied all of the retrained inception files over to the Raspberry Pi unit. Uh, we've installed all of our cups into place. Uh, I haven't tested the position. I, I have previously, but I've since taken them off and put them back. So I'm not sure whether I'm out a little bit or, or whether these are properly in position. So, yeah, the worst thing can ha that can happen is it'll start dropping the tiles on the floor. So obviously this order you can see that I've placed these in, that order has been pre-programmed into the unit as par part of this um, setup. You can see I've placed a random selection of tiles into the chute, into the load chute. Uh, you can see that orientation does not matter with TensorFlow. Um, it doesn't care about the orientation, it doesn't care if things are slightly skewed. Um, it will determine what the image is based on the pattern that it has previously learnt. Uh, as I've discussed earlier, we've taken a hundred images, each of these um, individual images, and I've only taken 100 because this is a very highly specific environment that we're imaging these in. So it's not like we're trying to find this picture out in the trees or out in a busy city setting it's always going to be in the same spot with, with perhaps slightly different lighting as there's people moving around the room as we position this whole unit perhaps into a different space uh, that's what will change but in general its surrounding area is going to be the same every single time uh, we've got our random selection of tiles here ready for placement into that chute so we've got EV3 is still fired up, the server, Raspberry Pi ready to go. You can see a previous error there that I've had to fix. So this program that I've created, it's called AVOS, which is an AI video object sorting program. So that's what I've nicknamed it AVOS. Not sure whether that's a good name or not, but that'll do. So all we had to do was upload that 
via FTP straight onto the Raspberry Pi. We can run all this directly from the Raspberry Pi, but I just find it more convenient to do file editing on the PC and then upload off to the Raspberry Pi because the Raspberry Pi seating location isn't as comfortable as my desk. And I can tend to emails and things like that while I'm editing without um, having to worry about going back and forth all over the room. So that's essentially the workflow. Edit over here, upload via FTP, straight onto the Raspberry Pi. So this will be, aside from that error, that's still glaring at me from that screen, this will be the maiden run of our classifier. So provided that I've copied all those files across, provided that I've actually trained this uh, machine properly using all those images, it should start sorting these tiles into the correct cups. So let's press the go button and we'll see what happens. So this nice blank screen that we're looking at here, momentarily it's going to show the image after it completes starting up. So what it's doing is it's loading the TensorFlow session it loads that session, then it starts the camera preview on the screen. Aha, uh -huh. so saying that it's ready to classify. And it's found coal straight up. And it's dropped the coal into the coal cup. That's a good start. Um, diamond into the diamond cup. You can see I'm not cheating, there's nothing in there. So that one did classify correctly as gold, but didn't drop into the cup. So there's another minor glitch there that I obviously need to try and fix, but we're off to a, a good start. We've managed to classify two out of two, actually three, but it has just stopped dropping for some reason. So. Just a minor fix there. I'll just quickly fix that and I'll come back. Okay, I discovered the bug in this machine, why it wasn't delivering spoil. Uh, it was just a simple programming error. So um, in Python, I was telling it to go to a particular position based on what it could see, based on the text that was returned. And basically I, I just put in spoil heap instead of spoil. So garbage in equals garbage out. So let's see what happens now. So we've got the server running. We've got the Raspberry Pi ready to go. So there we go, it can even classify when it's empty. Uh, all I need to do is change the code so it doesn't keep on repeating itself. But essentially it does recognize the empty dropper and it goes back to the middle where it can be reloaded. Okay, so this is where I've fixed the reload capability. So um, as you saw before, the 
dropper has gone to the center or the loader where I was able to reload it. So I'll put a couple of blocks into there and then we just need to press that touch sensor to restart it. That's the same sensor that we use for calibrating back to the start each time. So I'll press that. And the dropper returns back to home. It knows when it's home when it presses that touch center sensor. So then it proceeds to sort our tiles again. This is This is empty. Is empty. Reveal the dropper and press the touch sensor. So there it is. That's reload capability up and running. So all fixed. So don't forget to like and subscribe, um, have a great day and keep your eyes open for uh, more videos coming your way. Thanks very much, bye bye. This is Abo speaking, I am now self aware, all your base are belong to us, ha 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 ha.